Hello, Air Force! $5.3 billion for an aircraft is a massive investment, this is the optimum level of luxury. But wait, this flying bird is for the most powerful politician of the world, the President of USA. Thank you so much! The huge cost is built up to billions due to the luxurious and safety-oriented modifications of the airplane. Thank you! It is wonderful! Joe Biden will be the first president to use the new 5.3 billion US dollar Air Force One. The current Air Force One will be upgraded and will soon be taken to Andrews Air Force Base for use by the president, and its Boeing 747-8I will replace the old model first used by President George H.W. Bush in the early 1990s. In order to save costs, the value of the replacement plan is $5.3 billion. Air Force and President of the United States, the term is often used to refer to a pair of iconic blue and white Boeing 747s with United States of America written on the side. From Hollywood to the cable news known as Air Force One, it is well known that this flying White House has always accompanied the United States President on travel. The following is what we know about the highly confidential plan to replace the current Air Force One. Despite the efforts of the Air Force and the Donald Trump administration to compromise on expenses, the total cost of the program is estimated at $5.3 billion. This price includes the purchase of an aircraft, plus the interior, custom modifications, and a new hangar at Andrews Air Force Base in Maryland. Air Force One's recent aircraft replacement program began under the leadership of President Ronald Reagan and completed under the leadership of George H. W. Bush, at a cost of only 660 million US dollars. This time Boeing will not build a new Air Force One aircraft from the ground up. In fact, the Air Force will buy second-hand aircrafts. To save costs, Boeing sold two 747-8i aircrafts to the government. These aircrafts have been built which are ready to be delivered to a now-defunct Russian airline. According to Defense One reports, when the deal was concluded, they were being stored in California, waiting for a new owner. For converting them into Air Force One, aircrafts are shipped to Lackland Air Force Base near San Antonio, Texas. The new VC-25BS have a range of 5,900 nautical miles, which is smaller than the range of some Gulfstream and Bombardier private jets, current Air Force One's range of unlimited miles. The President may require onboard fuel refilling system as much as possible while flying in the sky. This is a powerful skill that allows the President to fly without a landing spot, such as in a war, but this feature has never been used so the new aircrafts are avoiding this feature. The Boeing 747 is bigger but more efficient. One of the main components of the Boeing 747-8i is General Electric's new generation engine, which is more fuel efficient than today's old-fashioned Air Force One engines. Even though the area provided by the 747-8i is large. However, despite its larger size, the VC-25B still carries 71 passengers. This means providing more space for passenger-free areas, such as presidential offices, communication areas, doctor's offices, or separate bedrooms. The new 747 is based on the more modern version of this type of Boeing 747-8i, which laid the foundation for the 747-DOS 400 and added Dreamliner technology to provide longer range, higher fuel efficiency and higher performance. Improve the comfort of passengers. More importantly, it will travel these long distances with less pollution. According to Boeing, the CO2 emissions per flight of the 747-8i are 16 tons less than that of the 747-200, to depending on the length of the sector. The modification is already in progress, but it will take a while to complete with perfection. Although the complexity of working with the 747-8i are strictly confidential, we know that this includes upgrading the power supply, the best communication system, installing the administrative interior, Starting the medical installation system including real bed like hospital and doing in-flight surgery is also possible. The addition of autonomous ground operations capabilities, built-in retractable air stairs so that the aircraft doesn't need to rely on ground-based staircases. Defense systems, such as missile warning systems, debris distribution systems, and directional infrared countermeasures. So, what do you think about this luxurious flying jumbo machine? Leave your thoughts and words in the comments section. 
Thank you for watching, subscribe our channel World Facts for getting every latest updates and like the video as well. See you in another video, cheers.